Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us start or let us learn about XML attributes and the tree structure. So in our last lecture, we have gone through an example, right? In that also we are using attributes. So I gave you just a small information, right? And we also tried to discuss about a tree structure also in the last lecture only. So in this lecture, I'll be giving you one more example so that it will be clear for you. Okay. So basically what are XML attributes? So basically in HTML also we are, so guys, if you didn't watch the first lecture about XML, it is a bit lengthy, but you will be getting a hundred percent clarity guys, a lot of more clarity than now if you watch that video. So please watch that and come back here guys. It's a request from my side. Okay. So now let us go through XML attributes. So XML attributes are similar to HTML attributes. So in HTML, we used to write inside a tag here. We used to write an attribute equals to its value and we used to close the tag, right? So similarly in XML also, you can write your user defined attributes. So here the tag is user defined and sorry, it is H1. It's not high. Okay. So, and the tag that is nothing but the value is also user defined. So basically here you can say that in XML, everything is user defined, whatever you want, you can keep that's it. Okay. So XML elements can have attributes by the use of attributes. We can add information about the element. So basically here you will be giving more information about the element using attributes. So once we are going through the examples, you will be getting a clear idea. Don't worry. Okay. So XML attributes enhance the properties of elements. So if you take a small example book. Okay. So you'll be writing a book inside this book. You'll be writing book name, right? So I think we forgot to write here. So assume the book name is computer science or networking or web programming. So the publisher name I have, I am writing inside our HTML tag, sorry, XML tag. Okay. Okay. So in this way we are writing. So here we will be writing the publisher name. So this is nothing but the user defined you wrote on your own. That is nothing but your attribute. Okay. So how many ways can you write this same statement guys? There are two different ways. So you can write the first way is nothing but the way that we discussed now book publisher is equals to the name of the publisher and book will be closing. This publisher is here the attribute like, like you can write without attribute also, but the, the lengthy will be length will be a bit increasing. It's not too lengthy. It will be a bit increasing guys book publisher. You will be writing the name again. You'll be closing the publisher and I will be writing the book. So in this situation, it will be acting in this way. So the book will be the parent for parent. We are having a publisher and the publisher name is the name. Okay. So in that way. Okay. So you can also say that it is nothing but metadata. So the definition of metadata is nothing but data about data. So about some data, you will be giving some more information that is nothing but metadata. See here, I told the author name is a and B and I'm giving that the category belongs to computer. So I'm giving more information about this author, right? So he belongs indirectly to computers. So in that way, Okay. In that way, the XML attributes help us. Okay. So these are some uh, syntaxes. I think so. So let us go through them. Okay. So in XML, okay. I think in HTML, I forgot to say, so in HTML also, you can write comments in this way. So you'll be writing your comment here and you'll be closing with two minuses and angular bracket. Okay. Okay. So the syntax syntax and XML comment should be written in this way. Do not use comments before XML declaration. This is most important guys. So what is XML declaration? This is XML declaration, XML version with, I think in our previous lecture, I discussed about it, right? So, and along with the XML, you will be writing the encoding version also. So you can write the common version for all guys. One ISO 88591. Okay. Okay. So in that way, you will be writing the version number and you will be solving it. So be, uh, before that version, you should not write XML comments. After that only you should write. You can use a comment anywhere in XML document except in attribute values. So in values is nothing but inside here. Here you will be right, naming the attribute like publisher and here you should not write the name. Okay. So that's also an important point. Do not nest comments guys because in any language it might be. You should not nest comments because that will cause a huge issue for the compiler or the interpreter which is executing that code. Okay. So now let us go through XML tree structure. Guys, this also we have discussed some introduction in our previous lecture. So now let us 
give a deep dive into the XML tree structure. So I'll be drawing the tree structure for this program guys or this script or this hypertext uh, markup language code guys you can say okay. So an XML document has a self descriptive structure. It forms a tree structure within reference of an XML tree. The tree structure makes easy to describe the XML document. Okay. So if you start observing here, so initially we started college here and we ended at the end. So indirectly college is our parent node. So I'll be writing here clearly guys. So that will be clear. So inside college we are having a student. Okay. So student is also starting from the end and it's ending at the end. So here we will be writing student. Okay. Okay. So once it is done, you will be writing the first name of that student. So if you observe it here, it is starting and ending at the same place. So here it is nothing but the first name. Again, you are having the last name. So I'll be writing first name, last name. Again, the contact number. I'll be writing C. We are also having the email ID. Okay. After that, we are having address. So if you observe in address, again, there are some sub modules. Those are nothing but city, state and pin. Okay, so these are the three which are inside it and we are ending everything. So this is the tree structure for this XML guys. So if you draw it neatly, it will be in this way. I think the image is clear. We are having college, student, first name, last name, contact, email ID, address. Address is again divided into pin codes, city, state and pin code. Okay, so I hope everyone got a clear idea on XML attributes and we also discussed about the XML tree structure. So in the next lecture, we will be going through DTD guys. So we'll be starting the discussion with the DTD that is nothing but document type definition. So this document type definition gives more information about XML guys. So it will be giving the legal elements and attributes of XML documents. So I'll be writing uh, the short notes for this topic guys because I, I didn't understand properly about this topic in our faculty's notes. So I'll be writing the short notes and once it is done, We'll be continuing with the next lecture guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.